Hello Capricorn and welcome to your reading. My name is Sarah and this is Sand and Sea Tarot. In this reading we're going to be looking at the recent past with the person that you have on your mind, the current energy, and their near future. Um, so this definitely is for those of you that already have a specific person that is on your mind. This is someone that could be a past person you have some kind of history with. Um, this could be someone that you are currently dating or involved with. Um, whoever it is that you would be romantically interested that also knows you, that has some sort of connection with you. Um, okay, so I'm going to be pulling some letters here. These are the letters that could be initials for you. They could be the initials of your um, person. If I don't pull either of yours, this still could be a message for you. Okay, the letters I have here are the letters W, P, G, S, U, Y, and J. So I have W, G, P, S, U, Y, and J. Um, if you're interested in personalized reading, I still am taking personalized readings at this time to book with me. Click on the description box below and there's a link to my website there. Um, this reading is for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If something doesn't resonate, please leave it behind and take only what feels good. Oh, actually, let's start with the romance angel cards first. There we go. So tell me about Capricorn and the person on their mind. Tell me about the situation with Capricorn and the person that's on their mind. Okay, so the first card that jumped out is religious factors. It says your life, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So for some of you, this could be a very spiritual connection. This could be that um, there could be a strong spiritual influence in this connection. This could be that maybe you're embarking a very spiritual journey. It also could be that um, maybe a difference of religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs for you and your person could be at play here. Um, let's see what else. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And we have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Yeah, so if any of you have been wondering if this is a true love connection, for a lot of you watching this reading, it very well is. And then this one, getting to know each other, is just like telling you that like a lot of times it's hard to be vulnerable with someone. So like the more that you're vulnerable, you the more you get to know this person, you get to let them know you more, the deeper your bond will grow. Okay, so now let's ask for the recent past for Capricorn and this person, person on their mind. Recent past is anywhere from, you know, yesterday, a couple of weeks ago, up to a couple of months ago. This is not years ago. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is about working together as a team. This is collaborating. Um, this is working towards the same goal. So that's the energy of this reading. It feels like the energy of either your person wants you and them to work together towards the same goal, or this is the overall energy where both of you have this sharing energy of wanting to work together towards the same goal. Okay, so what else we have here? We have the Eight of Cups. By the way, this is the Romantic Tarot. This is not read the Rider Waite. It's not strictly Rider Waite. Some of the images are not even close, so I read this deck intuitively. Um, what else we have? The King of Pentacles. And we have the temperance card.
<clears throat> current energy, current energy for Capricorn and their person. Okay, so we had three that jumped out there. Let's see what we have. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Five of Wands. Uh, near future. Near future for Capricorn and the person on their mind. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. Okay, Capricorn, so looking at the recent past, you have the Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. So in the recent past, I do feel like there was this notion of things were headed towards something long-term stable and secure here with this King of Pentacles energy. That's Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, it feels like this person really wanted to be more reliable. Um, I feel like they wanted to be more present in this connection we're present in the in you know this around you like more more present in this relationship they really saw this as something that could go the distance um, and they really wanted this connection to be very balanced here with the temperance card um, it looks like someone could have done some healing. This could be you. This could be your person in the recent past. Again, up, you know, up to about three months ago. Um, there was a feeling that someone walked away from this connection. So I'm not sure if this is your energy, Capricorn. If you felt like maybe you wanted to see if the grass was greener. Um, maybe you were just tired of this person not stepping up. You were tired of like no movement in this connection. Perhaps you're the one that walked away or you feel as though this person walked away from you. I feel like, um, you had a lot of high hopes for this, you know, this connection and perhaps it just wasn't serving you. You know, maybe you felt like you personally needed to do some more healing or that you felt your person needed to embark like a healing journey before, you know, trying to work things out here. In the current energies, you have the five of cups here. You have the ace of wands and the five of wands. Five of cups is about remorse. So someone is having some remorse about either behaviors, a decision, perhaps the decision of walking away from this connection. That could be your person that maybe your person is now having remorse for walking away from a connection that they felt they should have stayed or put more effort into. Um, five of wands is about, it is about being on different pages and that could be a religious factor that we have here. Um, that could be one like component that's kind of like like a, an interference in this connection could be the fact that maybe you guys have different religious beliefs or, you know, your families have different religious beliefs. Um, maybe the feeling of like your, your family, I'm just giving an example. It could be your family's very religious and maybe you'd be afraid of them not accepting your person or vice versa, fit it however it needs to, if that is even for you. But this person definitely wants a new beginning here with this Ace of Wands. Um, Ace of Wands is a very passionate beginning. So I feel like this person feels like they're very magnetized to you. They do feel like this is a very um, sexual connection. There's a lot of chemistry for this person. And they really want a new beginning here with you. 
in the near future, near future could be any time from tomorrow, you know, today, um, up to about three months from now. So it does look like this person wants to move things more towards something long-term stable and secure again here with this queen of pentacles. This does tell me this is some kind of soulmate connection. The fact that we have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles here, um, it does definitely line up here with this feeling of this being a true love connection. Six of pentacles is about a person wanting restore balance in this connection, being able to give. So perhaps in the past, your person was not able to give to this connection. You felt like maybe they weren't giving you their all. They weren't giving you, you know, all their attention. Um, perhaps it was finances. They weren't investing financially in this relationship and this person plans on it. That's like here in the near future, they are planning to invest more. They feel like they're more stable and secure in their own life. That could be stable with finances as well, where they feel like they have more to offer, but they do definitely want to create some more balance in this relationship. The judgment card here, this is Scorpio energy. So um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. By the way, the king of pentacles here is a Capricorn. So that's you right there. Um, but here with the judgment card, this is definitely the feeling of someone wanting a second chance. They want to start over a brand new beginning. Um, this is also the energy of wanting to apologize, make thing, make amends. So I do feel like this person really wants to own up for the past hurt that, you know, perhaps they caused in this connection, but they really do want a second chance here with you. And again, the overall energy we have here with this three of pentacles is the energy of both of you working towards the same goal. What is that goal? Something long-term stable and secure here with you for basically a second chance. Okay, I'm going to clarify this reading now using the Everyday Witch Tarot. This is my favorite deck right now. Um, so let's clarify that Eight of Cups. So again, Eight of Cups is about leaving something behind. This is seeing what else is out there, turning away from something that's no longer serving you. And I do, I do feel like that could have been your energy. It could have been your person. Um, I do feel like this could be you, Capricorn, that you walked away. So eight of cups is clarified by the queen of wands and the five of wands. So I do feel like here with this eight of cups, I feel like this, this queen of wands energy is possibly a third party. Um, I'm saying that only because this Eight of Cups in this particular deck, look at this, it shows two ladies and a gentleman. Even though the meaning behind this does not mean in Rider Waite Tarot, this would not mean a third party. This just means that someone walked away from someone. I do feel like maybe you got the the energy of another person in the picture or you felt like your person had options there's a feeling of competition here with this five of wands. So five of wands is about competing. So it could be about competing for your person's time, energy. Um, you know, if you could have felt like maybe they weren't investing in this relationship, it was very unbalanced, but I do feel like you thought that there was perhaps another person in the picture. You didn't want to deal with the competition. So it does feel like possibly you walked away. If that does not resonate, the other meaning this could be is that you were tired of the conflicts. You were tired of the drama. You were tired of the fighting. And the Queen of Wands, she does take action. So um, she makes a plan and she takes action. So this could be your energy where you made a plan and you decided, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this. I, this is too much drama for me. I'm leaving this connection. So that very well could have been your energy or it could be your person's energy as well that they felt like they need to walk away from this because it wasn't suiting them because they too were tired of the drama in this connection. And the queen of wands, she's very self-confident. She's very self-assured. So it's like when she makes a decision, she's going to go through with it. She's not going to back down. King of pentacles. Why the king of pentacles? 
Why is the King of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. <clears throat> so again, I told you that I felt like this King of Pentacles was the energy of this relationship heading towards something long-term, stable, secure in the recent past. There is a lot of emotions of love here with this Queen of Cups. So that's one reason why there was this sense of this relationship being able to last, to be um, able to, you know, go the distance here. King of Swords, it, it does feel like you had some honesty in this relationship, some communication here. Um, I feel like this person, I feel like this person was very blunt with you about what they planned for this relationship or what they wanted. However, I feel like they were hiding their emotions because the King of Swords does not wear his heart on his sleeve. So I do feel like he would have a very direct conversation with you, but it would not be with emotions. Um, and the King of Swords is an Aquarius. So you could be dealing with Aquarius and Queen of Cups is a Cancer. So let's see about this Temperance. Temperance is Sagittarius, by the way. So why the Temperance card? Why Temperance? Why the Temperance card? Okay, so we had the Emperor that jumped out. This is Aries energy. What else? And the Nine of Pentacles. So the Emperor is about structure, foundation, a strong foundation, security. But this is also about the Divine Masculine. So this could be like seen as the other half. This is seen as... Um, feeling as though this person is your spouse, your husband, your, you know, father of your kids, grandfather to your children, you know, um, or grandchildren rather. And the emperor does like to have control. So I feel like your person could have been very stubborn. And I do feel like with this judgment card, or sorry, with the temperance card that this person is working on that. Maybe they were a little bit too stubborn and that's you know, one thing that kind of prevented them from revealing their emotions to you was their own stubbornness. Um, I feel like it's been really hard for this person to apologize to you, to admit feelings, to admit any wrong. Um, so I feel like this is something your person has worked on recently. They've worked on being less stubborn and being able to express their emotions. Nine of Pentacles. This is about abundance. This is about um, independence. I feel like your person could also have been very stubborn about letting go of their independence. Perhaps this was a fear of theirs. Um, and this is something, it feels like an area that they've also done some healing with. Um, perhaps this person was like very selfish, very self-centered, you know, in this relationship. So I feel like that's a step that they've really taken into healing, healing that part about them. So they're not selfish. Um, I mean, they still could come out a little bit being selfish to you, but I feel like this is something this person definitely has been working on about themselves. So why the five of cups for near future, or sorry, present future, five of cups. Why is the five of cups here? Why the five of cups? Mm. Five of cups is clarified there by the three of cups and temperance again. So here with this five of cups, I really felt like there was some remorse here. What is that remorse that this person is have is having? They're having remorse for the fact that there was a third party. That's my confirmation here. Where someone walked away from this connection because there was a third party involved here. And it's someone didn't want to deal with the drama. They didn't want to deal with the competition. Um, so that there's my confirmation that this person is having remorse for starting a third party situation. Um, but I also do feel like this person is working on healing that about themselves. You have, you know, the temperance showing up here twice is very significant. So this person really has, they're continuing to doing, 
they're continuing with this healing, but they've also worked on this healing in the past too. But I do feel like this is something that's ongoing for this person. They are recognizing it and they're working on it. Whatever steps it is that they're taking, I don't know, but this person really is focused on um, bringing more balance into their life, um, things being more in moderation as well. This could be habits that they have like drinking or, you know, excessive addictions to something. Um, this is definitely something this person has been working on to heal themselves. But they do think about what they did to you about introducing a third party situation and they're having a lot of remorse about that. So why the Ace of Wands? Why that Ace of Wands? Ace of Wands is clarified by the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> so there's your Three of Pentacles again, clarifying that this person wants you guys to work together towards the same goal. What's the goal? This new start, this new passionate beginning. Page of Pentacles is a messenger. So this person really wants to message you about something long-term, stable, and secure. That's, that's their intention is to come forward being more reliable, more consistent, because they do see you as a long-term partner and they're ready to invest. They're ready to work towards something secure here with you. Uh, why the five of wands? Why is that five of wands here? Where did that go? It flipped. There we go. Chariot. One more. So the five of wands is clarified by the chariot and the lovers. So the chariot, this is the fastest moving energy in tarot. This is cancer energy. So this person felt like maybe there was a lot of being on the different page energy here or conflict drama. Um, and this person really wants to move forward. They want to move away from that. Um, they really want some movement forward for this connection. And you have the lovers here. This is Gemini energy. Um, this person feels like this is a divine connection and they, they want to move things forward with you. They want to move things forward towards something long-term stable and secure here. And they have, they've finally realized that this connection with you is so much deeper than what they thought it was. They're realizing it is like a spiritual connection as well. Um, you do have this religious factors card saying that your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So that to me could be also further confirmation that this is some kind of twin flame connection. This is a very divine love connection. Why the queen of pentacles for near future? <clears throat> Why the queen of pentacles? Ah, too many. Why the queen of pentacles? Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Cups and the Two of Wands. So again, this Queen of Pentacles, she is secure. She's stable. She's nurturing. She's very grounded. Um, so that's the energy where this connection is going to be heading in the next three weeks. Or sorry, three within the next three months. Something stable, secure, grounding, nurturing, um, committed. You have the Six of Cups here, which is... This is my confirmation. This is a past person. It could be an ex-partner. This could also be indication that you have past life connections with this person. Um, there is a lot of reflecting back on happy memories of this connection. I feel like this is your person that over the next three months, they will be heavily reflecting back on the happy times in this connection. Two of Wands is about making a decision to, to move things forward. So this is the energy of your person. Like they're looking into the past. So they're looking at you. This person is making a, a very purposeful decision here to move things forward with you. So why the Six of Pentacles? Why the Six of Pentacles? Why the Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles is clarified by <laughs> Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So Six of Pentacles, again, is about someone wanting to give more to this relationship. They feel like they're in a place now where they can give. Maybe in the past they weren't able to create balance and give of their time, give of their finances, give of their heart, their emotions. And now 
they definitely feel like they're in a place where they are able to provide that for you. They want to create more balance in this connection. They don't want it to be feel as though it was one-sided, as though you were doing all the work. They want to equally invest. Ten of Cups, this person sees you as their forever person. Ten of Cups is family. Um, this is seeing someone as your forever, as your future spouse, someone you want to have children with, someone you want to grow old with. This is divine love. This is being loved and supported by one another. So this person really, they see you as their mate. You are theirs. Um, so why the judgment card? Why is the judgment card here? So judgment card is clarified by the strength card and the sun. Wow. So again, the judgment card is about wanting a second chance, a new beginning. They want to revive this relationship, wake it up from the dead and start something new here. Um, you have the strength card. This is Leo energy. Strength card is about getting the courage and inner strength to to take on something, to, to overcome fears. So I do feel like this is the energy of your person as well, that they are, they've overcome any fears that they have, any doubts about this connection, um, like for a second start. So maybe originally they had feared like, you know, would Capricorn even take me back? And instead of living in this fear of like, what if I'm rejected or whatever, this person has really overcome those doubts and, you know, they want to take this action to move forward towards this reconciliation. You also have the sun, the happiest card here in tarot. This is Leo. You have double Leo energy here. So very strong Leo um, energy we could be dealing with. The sun is about ultimate bliss and happiness. So your person really wants to, you know, they, they're building up this strength to come at you for talk of this second chance. They really want the second chance because they feel like you're their forever person. They see you as their mate and they just want to be happy with you. You're, you complete them. You bring them this happiness, this joy, and that's all that they are focused on. They do feel this relationship has a lot of potential. They, they feel like there's a lot of vitality in this connection. And so it's going to be a lot of these positive views that they have towards you that's going to make them push forward, overcome these fears to say, hey, Capricorn, I want another chance with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull a couple of characteristic cards here. So these could be, you know, something just kind of solidify that this reading is for you. Capricorn's person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Okay, so we have, your person could have a significant scar. Um, they could have brown hair. They could have facial hair. Um, they could be a Sagittarius born between November 22nd, December 21st. They're very philosophical, philosophical, can I even speak, dynamic, experimental, and optimistic. Um... They could have long hair and they could have dark skin. Okay, so there's going to be an extended for this reading and to have access to the extended, you need to join the channel membership. Details are in the description box below. In the extended, that's where we look at everything 100% from your person's point of view. I'm gonna find out if they're hiding anything from you, anything that you need to know for your best and highest good. We'll look at how they view the current situation, how they view the recent past with you or how they view the past with you. Um, what are they currently thinking about? What's happening around them in the next couple of weeks? What their current energy is? How they see you right now? Um, something that could be either helping or hindering this connection around them, like in their environment, a wish, hope, fear, or possible action towards you. And we'll look at the potential outcome, what they hope for as a potential outcome with you. You have to join the channel membership to have access to that reading. In the description box below, that's where you'll find the link for the channel membership. And that's also where you will find the link for this extended reading. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.